Yeah, exactly. This board of directors that is about to start uh, is a very complicated one for Autostrade per l'Italia because the company reluctantly is gearing up for a vicious legal battle against the government. In the same interview that you were mentioning, uh, Conte repeated his intention to strip the toll road operator uh, of uh, its concession and Conte will do so by fast tracking a decree, a decree that uh, could uh, repeal a 2006 law uh, that granted the concession to Autostrade per l'Italia Italia over 2,800 kilometers of motorway. Now, Conte and his most prominent minister, Luigi Di Maio, uh, know that such a move will boost their popularity rating, but at the same time, they know that the same action could put the, the public finances, the Italian public finances, under enormous strain. First of all, the Italian government will have most likely to pay a staggering 18.3 billion uh, penalty, uh, which is the net present value of all the profits that Autostrade per l'Italia uh, will uh, uh, do, will earn uh, within 2042, the year when the concession will expire. Secondly, by nationalizing the highway network, uh, the uh, government will give up on 350 million worth of taxes that Autostrade per l'Italia is paying each year. And lastly, by taking over the uh, current maintenance of the uh, highway uh, network, uh, the Ministry of the Infrastructure will have to go on a hiring spree of some 4,000 technicians and engineers and construction uh, workers. So, not an easy task. For all this reason, the Northern Party within the government is trying to soften the position of its ally, the Five Star Movement. Yesterday, the Under Secretary of State, Matteo Salvini, right-hand man, Giancarlo Giorgetti, publicly stated that he's not convinced at all with the nationalization of the highway network. So the impression here in Rome today is that if the company quadruple, if Atlantia, the, the holding that owns Autostrade per Italia, quadruple his offer, Probably this legal battle that I was mentioning before could be avoided. We'll see. We'll try to intercept uh, Castellucci and Cerchiai, the two managers at the helm of the company. They should enter within a couple of minutes within the building. Back to your studio. Carlo, there's clearly a lot of anger on the ground still, and we've got now a big family involved backing Autostrada and also populist governments at play. Who is winning when it comes to trying to use this event to win the hearts and minds of voters in Italy? How is it being perceived there at this point? Well, at this point, the government is the big winner uh, at the uh, state funeral on Saturday when uh, Matteo Salvini, the interior minister, and Luigi Di Maio, the labor minister, uh, entered uh, the building where the funeral was held. Uh, they were greeted by uh, a warm round of applause. Uh, and uh, the company right now and the ben Benetton family that owns it uh, are the losers in uh, this battle. But uh, they will try to regain uh, some part of the uh, uh, popular uh, uh, favor because they vowed to rebuild the bridge within eight months and yeah they put a, a compensation package a compensation fund of 500 million but this request today that Conte uh, made on the Corriere della Sera newspaper is a sort of invitation if they quadruple their uh, offer the legal clash could be uh, avoided so all in all the company is trying to clean up its image is not an easy task and they will talk about that in this long uh, board of directors that is about to start and tomorrow when another uh, board meeting will convene, the one of Atlantia, the holding that controls the company. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.